Good morning, YouTube. You'll recognize this is our 6x12 cargo trailer that we've converted over to a camper. I'm going to show you today some of the changes to the electrical system that I'm going to make to improve safety and also to explain some things that will help you out when you build your own. One of the first things I want to point out to you that I want to change is this 30 amp RV shore power power port here. And I'll leave a link below. You can buy it from Amazon. And what it is that I want to change is these hex screws here. I want to change them to pan head. When you rotate this collar here, this lock-in collar, it, your fingers can drag across this and get a scratch or a cut. And it's kind of frustrating when you're setting up camp and you're getting nicked and cut. So I do want to change those screws out. The other thing I want to point out is that I screwed this in again a year ago, but it's just screwed to the aluminum outer skin. Well, there's a lot of flex here. And so what I'd like to do is get some longer screws, put some wood behind it to support this and make it a little bit more rigid. That way, in case somebody trips on the cable or something, they're not ripping a big hole in the side of my trailer. Another area that I want to improve is for safety. This is the back side of the 30 amp power port here. It's not plugged in, so nothing is hot. This is 3 8 plywood here. I've got one inch foam board in between the plywood and the aluminum skin on the outside. Well, I'm being told that this insulation is flammable. Well, if this power port were to get hot or to have a short in it or any kind of electrical issue, then there's nothing between the heat from it and the flammable insulation board there. So I want to take all of this out, replace those screws, reseat this power port, but I want to put some sort of layer here, plastic or something here, an insulator to keep the heat potentially from this insulation here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is open up this box and loosen the wires and disconnect all of this from the power port. That way I can pull it all out. Take me a flat blade screwdriver. Screw out the panel. Different people have asked me for different views on the inside of the box. So I'm going to take a lot of close up video here Hopefully it shows what you need to see and then I'll take it apart and then I'll explain it further. In order to get started pulling this apart, I'm going to undo all the wires that are attached to this orange wire right here. So that's going to be a white wire, a black wire, and a bare copper wire. The black, white wire is right here. The black wire is attached in this area and the copper wire is twisted into this copper wire here. So I've got to remove this wire nut. Okay, I'm gonna pull the wire nut out and untwist it counterclockwise. That should expose the bare copper. And I've gotta unwind, untwist that copper wire. For that, I'm gonna take a pair of pliers and just turn it opposite of the direction that it was twisted. Okay, good, got it loose. Next thing I'm gonna do is take a flat blade screwdriver you also take a square drive, turn this one counterclockwise. This is going to remove the white wire from that point there. So the white wire was screwed in with this screw right here. Next one, I'm going to take a flat blade screwdriver and I'm going to work on these lugs right here. These are for the black wire. So I'm going to unscrew them both. Several people have asked me, this is the bridge I made with a short piece of the black wire. And all it is is a loop, a U-shape, and bare metal on both sides. This allowed me to make both sides of this hot or electrically charged. There is the other black one that I pulled out here. Now the orange wire is disconnected from here and here. So now I have the bare copper wire, the white wire, and the black wire. 
Now we're gonna focus on pulling off this outside port here. These are flat blade screws, so I'm gonna use a flat blade screwdriver to unscrew them. And now that I got the screws loose, we'll be able to pull the port out. And this is an interesting thing. The white wire was not in there very tight. That's the kind of things that can cause a short circuit or a bad connection and lead to a fire. So these fill up or flat blade screws here are what is holding on the wires. It's supposed to pinch the wire. So the black one will have its own and then the gold one will have it. And it's color coded here. It's got the white paint here for the white wire and the green is for the ground, and of course the black is for the black wire. So I'll come over here with a Phillips screwdriver, turn it, and undo the screw for the black wire. This black wire wasn't very tight either. That's that's troubling. This, like I said, this could cause problems later on. And then we'll rotate it around to the copper wire. Hopefully it won't break it. And unscrew the copper wire use a flat blade on that it's a little bit tighter and there you have it the power port is loose all right we got it all apart and now it's time to put it all back together and that's going to be on a separate video but we're going to make sure we got our connections tight here we're going to put something here to cover up the the uh, poly iso which is combustible it's not flammable it's combustible we're going to put some Romex clamps here, here, and here, and put a cap here, and that's all for the safety. And then we're going to attach this ground also to the box as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you like what you see, please like, please share, please subscribe. And constructive comments are always welcome. I appreciate the input. I learn and you learn. Thank you again. We'll talk to you soon, YouTube.